Okay, day of the rice harvest. Uh, we're just over halfway through C and D tumble. Got an old mate here tying up. So the way it's done is all around the edges the machine can't get to. So the first row that you see in front here, the first row of rice is all cut by hand. And this is put on the bank and we just tie it up with string like yeah. old mate is. Professional. No, no. <laughs> so that just gets tied up in separate. And that gets through the, the fresher, the combine later. And then the second row, that's the first row, it's done by hand. The second row is done by a machine called a binder. And that's just straight ahead. I'll show you the binder. And this machine automatically cuts and um, applies the, the string. So this is called a binding machine. And it goes along, it cuts, and it makes a a bundle here and then string is applied and it comes out looking like this with the string already on and that's already done so the binder does the next two and then the middle of the tumble is done by the combine harvester so this is Kato over here
Paka Uchi, he's just getting the strays that the machines missed. If you have a look what the wind's done to this rice, it's flattened it so it's made it a little bit more difficult but it seems to be working. So this is the problem with the Hoshihikari, it's uh, much longer, the wind and rain knocks it about, that's why it's a little bit difficult. But. Uh, it all, it all seems to be coming up nice in the combine. And it mulches as it goes. So the really hard parts are along the side that we do by hand. It's a little bit back breaking, but there's five of us, so the sides only took an hour or so, but it's, it's, it's hard work. we have to put through later so these will put through the combine by hand Looks like there's a lot of rice on this year's crop compared to last. It seems to be a lot heavier and the grains seem to be um, a little bit bigger too. But we'll have to see after it's dried. So if you have a look at these bags of rice, that's called a hyo in Japanese. And all rice fields are measured by production. So if you rent a rice field off anybody or buy a rice field, they say, well, this, this rice field is um, 20 hill. So this rice field will produce 20 bags of rice. And that's the measurement that farmers go by when they're buying or renting land. It's not not the square meterage they'll just say how many hyo uh, is the tumble is the rice field and they'll say it's 30 hyo 10 hyo and that's um, how people get a measure on um, whether a rice field's good or not or whatever so 
just a little tip if you were to rent a tumbo anywhere people will always measure the value of a rice field by the hill which is the production uh, how many bags per per the field it is so if you have a look at sea tumbo which is the one I'm walking on now that this little one this one has produced one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. So this small field, see at the front, has produced seven here. It's your Sanju kilo good eye, it's here. Okay. So each here is roughly 30 kilos. So this tumble here, this small one produce 210 uh, kilos of rice so one-fifth of a ton just for this small area and um, the one in front I'd say would possibly be maybe 18 16 17 18 maybe here the bigger one the D tumble but we'll see at the end so uh, so far, if you have a look at what we've done, uh, this equals three hours work for five people. Um, this combine machine, uh, the club got it at auction for $800. Hasn't broken down yet. Last year it broke down twice and we lost two hours while we just tried to put the belts back on and, and work it out. So that's been a really good purchase. So in Japan, old machinery like this combine, the professional farmers will get rid of it at a certain age and they'll buy new equipment and they get generous tax breaks, um, large scale farmers. So they might buy a, a brand new machine and they might get a tax break of 40% on it. So the Japanese government uh, make, uh, put in tax incentives for farmers to upgrade their equipment and this sort of second-hand equipment that's not quite up to the task but still serviceable you can pick up very cheaply so we picked up this one for $800 that binder straight ahead was uh, $350 um, and we got a tractor which was $3,000 so all our equipment all up um, do all our rice fields is less than $4,000 and I'd say it'll be good for maybe 10 years if we look after it so that's pretty much what it's like these will go down to the dryers today uh, when we finish these two rice fields the two rice fields at the top a and b will just be cutting along the edge and doing the edge work this afternoon after lunch and tomorrow we'll be doing the main part uh, because those two tumbles are quite small so we should finish that before lunchtime tomorrow so it's one and a half days work um, and really it's only hard work for two for two hours uh, doing the hand work the machine work is um, it's not too bad at all so it's good to see the boys I haven't seen them for about six six or seven weeks now everyone's um, been busy and it looks like we're probably one of the last people in Nagano that are uh, harvesting the rice so anyway uh, I'll turn the video off here and I'll do another uh, update today and, and post it as a second video for those interested so anyway rice fields almost done and we just put the side the ones through the side into the machine that'll probably take an hour or so and i think we'll be going home at three o'clock today which is not too bad so anyway as always hope you like the video